Hello there! Let's try to explore more about parallelograms, particularly on rectangle. So try to sing with me and learn from the lyrics of this jingle. If the parallelogram says a right angle, then it has four right angles. And the parallelogram is a rectangle. Rectangle is a parallelogram. Whoa! Whoa! That's the first thing to be considered on a rectangle. Let's have another one. If the diagonals are congruent, diagonals of rectangle are congruent, and that defines a rectangle. Rectangle is a parallelogram. 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 So let's get to know. Why rectangle is a parallelogram? As defined, rectangle is a parallelogram since both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Two opposite sides are congruent. Two opposite angles are congruent. Two consecutive angles are supplementary. The diagonals bisect each other. And the diagonal forms two congruent triangles. So if you listen to the jingle presented a while ago, it talks about the theorems on rectangle. So what are the theorems? On rectangle. Theorem 1. If a parallelogram has a right angle, then it has four right angles. And the parallelogram is a rectangle. Theorem 2. The diagonals of rectangle are congruent. So let's try to apply the theorems on rectangle in a real life situations. As illustrated, The figure forms a rectangle. Rectangle S, R, M, and J. S stands for school. R stands for Regine's house. M stands for mall. And J stands for Joshua's house. The distance between Joshua's house from the mall is 8 kilometers, while the distance of Regine's house from the mall is 6 kilometers. So let's try to solve the following problems. First, if Joshua and Rajay will go to school at the same time, considering the distance, 
Who will come first? Why? From this problem, it emphasizes the property of a rectangle in which opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So, line segment SR is congruent to line segment JM and line segment SJ is congruent to line segment RM then line segment SR is equal to 8 kilometers since line segment JM is equal to 8 kilometers and line segment SJ is equal to 6 kilometers since line segment RM is also equal to 6 kilometers therefore Joshua will come first to school because his house is 6 kilometers away from the school while Rajane's house is 8 kilometers away from the school Let's have another one. The principal of the school wants to buy instructional materials for the school in the mall. How far it will take for the principal to buy those materials? From this problem, it emphasizes the first theorem on rectangle in which rectangle has four right angles as defined line segment SR is equal to 8 kilometers and line segment RM is equal to 6 kilometers find line segment SM since it is a right triangle or has a right angle, we use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of line segment SM. So from the formula, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. The value of A is 6 and the value of B is 8. So C squared is equal to 6 squared plus 8 squared. So C squared is equal to 36 plus 64. So C squared is equal to 100. Finding the square root of both sides we can now find the value of C. The value of C is equal to 10 since the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So line segment SM is equal to 10 kilometers. Therefore, it will take 10 kilometers for the principal to buy instructional materials. Last problem. If Joshua wants to visit Jane in their house for their project, how far it would take to reach Jane's house? From this problem, it emphasizes the second theorem on rectangle in which diagonals of rectangle are congruent so line segment JR is congruent to line segment SM since 
line segment SM is equal to 10 kilometers, then line segment JR is also equal to 10 kilometers. Therefore, Joshua will take 10 kilometers to reach Eugene's house. So class, did you understand now the theorems on rectangle? Particularly on the applications of those theorems? If yes, you've done great! If no, try to review it again and understand the main concept of the theorems. Now, let's sing again the theorems on a rectangle. If the parallelogram says a right angle, then it has four right angles, and the parallelogram is a rectangle, rectangle. It's a parallelogram. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. And that's the first thing to be considered on a rectangle. Let's have another one. If the diagonal circumgruent, diagonal sub rectangle are congruent. And that defines a rectangle, rectangle is a parallelogram, rectangle is a parallelogram, rectangle is a parallelogram, rectangle is a parallelogram, rectangle is a parallelogram.